I totally support my daughter being a sugar baby. In fact, I am one. You know, most parents tell their kids, you could be a doctor, an astronaut, maybe even the president of the United States. But this mom is taking a different approach and telling her daughter, dude, just sell your dignity, old men will pretty much pay for anything. Like, whatever gets you that paper, girl. I don't know if I blame them, though. If somebody wanted to pay my rent just to see pictures of my feet, I don't think I'd be asking any questions. What's crack a everybody? It's Thundros here, coming at you with a couple 300 IQ ladies. And I don't even know why these people are on Dr. Phil. I mean, you've got a supportive mom and a girl with an alternative lifestyle. It actually sounds like they're doing pretty well for themselves. Couldn't we find someone that needs some real help? Why does he just keep bringing on a bunch of happy weirdos? As usual, before we get started, hit the like button and share this video with a friend, or you're gonna find out your mom is a sugar mama. And I mean, you are going to find photos that need to be immediately sent to the vault of repression. With that, let's see how far these two have gone to make people feel a little less lonely. My daughter Riley is teaching me how to be a sugar baby. I've been on five dates. In cash, I've received about $3,000. $3,000 in five dates. I am genuinely ashamed of my own gender. Okay, real talk though. There's no way she's not doing something for them under the table if you're catching my drift. You know, it might be time for me to reconsider this YouTube thing. There's clearly a better market out there. I mean, with this face, I could probably make at least $5 a night, which is more money than I've made in the last three videos combined. For most days, I do charge about 200 per hour. Sex is off limits 100%. I don't know if I can believe that entire statement unless you found a gold mine of a bunch of dudes looking exactly like this that somehow have the money to not live in their mother's basement. I'm just saying, she has to be doing something under the table with them. There's no way they're gonna just sit there with her for $200 an hour. Not unless they're signing some kind of waiver or, you know, just literally the biggest simps in the world. She can't be that selective in her line of work. I have been on some dates with my daughter. The man said he had a fantasy of two women whipping him. We both stripped down to our underwear and whipped him. Nothing like some good old-fashioned mother-daughter bondage. I'm sure having that experience together got him very close. Do you think the mother gave her a pep talk before they started? How much do you want to bet the daughter had to spend her $200 an hour unloading this on a therapist? I will say I'm impressed at how far they're willing to go to get some cash. He gave us each $300. It lasted for about 30 minutes. It was very awkward. They made $600 in 30 minutes and they didn't think to themselves, you know what, we gotta come up with some plot lines, keep this meter running. It might have been really awkward, but you could have squeezed this fruit for all it's worth. The man was clearly well off. If they would have gotten creative, they probably could have lived off the money they made in that night alone. Do you think they need a manager? I could probably get their profit margins way up. I am proud of Riley. Riley is definitely a businesswoman. She makes her own money and she calls the shots. Given that you're willing to do bondage, you realize that one day your daughter's just gonna be like, look, I need you to go on this date with this 86-year-old dude that hasn't showered since the Great Depression. And mom, if you don't, it's gonna be a real hit to our business. So uh, yeah, don't forget to let him put his arm around you so he really feels like he's getting the experience. This also implies that one day she's gonna have to fire her mom. She's gonna have to come up to her and just be like, look, you're getting too old. Nobody really wants a gum job. So uh, yeah, get out. It might just be a better idea to have a standard matriarch dynamic. I do consider myself a rookie, but my daughter, Riley is a professional sugar baby. Just to clarify, the literal definition of a professional is anyone who gets paid for something. I might make scraps, but by that definition, I'm a professional YouTuber. I guess what I'm saying is she's making this sound a lot more impressive than it actually is. Like, congratulations, you're doing softcore prostitution. OnlyFans is proof that you don't even need to be attractive to be successful like this. I know I sound like a hater, but she's puffing it up like her daughter invented the wheel. Like, I don't care if someone wants to be a professional hoe, but don't make them seem like some kind of genius for it. Okay, so you're good you're good with this, right? You're okay with this? I'm okay with this. Did we really need confirmation on this Philly cheesesteak? She's been talking about her daughter like she's the wolf of Wall Street. We're a little past okay with this. I mean she practically did bareback bondage with her daughter. That's pretty much on board like a ship captain. And you do have do's and don'ts though, right? Absolutely. You, you say do keep the profile short and sweet, mm -hmm. right? Do seek older men, because the younger guys are just drama. You know, looking at our list here, it doesn't make any sense. Do not tell me older people can't be dramatic. Work a retail job for one day and tell me where that opinion lands. Okay, but by less drama, they probably mean it's easier to ghost an old fart. He probably just thinks the connection broke. By the way, that should not say seek, it should defo say target. You tell them no sex before the date. 
yeah, I was telling him I'm not a pro if you're looking for that. You're in the great city, go find one. They're everywhere. Yeah. She might say none of that is happening, but does anybody actually believe that she just did bondage in her underwear and nothing happened? I don't know, it seems kinda sus. Like, I'm not saying it isn't possible, but I'm also not saying she isn't lying. Like, who's believing that somebody is paying her $200 an hour to take her to dinner? Her hand has to be getting a workout under the table or something. Nobody is this starved for affection. And you negotiate the rate before the date. You get the money right? Mm -hmm. All Up front and you get paid cash up front, right? After you know them for so long, they ask, because a lot of them don't want you to go home and snort it. Maybe she should offer a 5% uh, cash discount. I'm sure they'd stop asking questions then. Her clients are way too concerned about a woman they're overpaying to take to dinner. Like, who cares what she does with your money, bro? She don't love you. It's like me tipping the pizza guy and going, you better not use this on drugs. Their money, their business. So, that's what they say. They, they don't know if I do drugs or not. I tell them no, but... So they always say, well, can I pay your phone bill? Let me see your phone bill. Let me see your rent. Let me see your car payment. They want to pay your bills. They want to feel like they're contributing to you, like not cashiers going to blow, and they don't want you to spend their cash on another man. Real offer right here. If anyone wants to pay my rent, I will gladly go out on a date with you. If you decide to just pay me cash, you know it won't be going to other girls because all I do is make videos and go to work. Any takers at all, I can promise loyalty as long as you've got the cash. There cannot actually be simps this big. If a girl, no matter how hot she was, came up to me and said, will you please pay my rent, I would laugh in her face. Like, girl, that does not work and apparently you don't either. Uh-huh. And so, and you say, do bat your eyes and do give that pouty face. I do. Yeah. I, I gotta see the pouty face. And like, I was like, don't be a party pooper. We're gonna have some fun. That can mean anything. I'll admit that this girl has some moves, but that still doesn't explain how she's getting them in the door. Does she just go on Craigslist and says, hey, anyone lonely need a date for the night? Ourtime.com is probably a great place for her mom to hunt. How many Tinder matches do you think this woman has? These are the questions and ideas I want to see in action. But I'm going to start wrapping this video up, and because I know it's going to be pretty short, I'm going to drop you guys a few dating tips. The first tip's going to be, uh, don't date this, or whatever this is, or anything like this. If you see this woman on the streets, walk the other direction. And my second and, uh, actual tip is going to be, take a few minutes to take an introspective of yourself. This might give a few people a bit of an existential crisis, but ask yourself where you're happy and where you're unhappy in your life. You obviously can't change everything, but sometimes we're depressed because we know there are changes we could be making and we're just not taking those steps. The happier you are as a person, the more likely you're going to attract more people to you. You obviously have to try a bit, but putting yourself in the best mindset can only stand to benefit you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you're all smart enough to not do something like this. Like, please, please don't pay for dates, people. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I do put out a decent amount of content, and I do drop dating tips now and again. Though I'm kind of realizing now that a lot of it's really just motivational and not really that technical. You know what? Maybe I'll just make a dating video one of these days. Call it something like how to get a girlfriend. You know a million and one people are going to click on that. With that, though, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.